the Nutrition and Growth Conference. Um, I am Renata Machado Pinto, professor of the Federal University of Goiás in Brazil. And I will present the research, Impact of the Use of Anastrozole in Predictive Final Height of Male Adolescents, a Retrospective Cohort. We don't have any conflict of interest. Well, the idea of using aromatized inhibitor as a strategy to prolong growth time comes from the knowledge that estrogen is the major factor that uh, for bone fusion. So the idea is, if I diminish the estrogen, I will have more time to growth. Before uh, going and uh, talking about the, the research itself, it's important to know these concepts. Target height, predicted final or adult height, and near final height. The target height depends only on the height of the parents. It's a calculation, it's immutable, it uh, says the genetic potential of height of that person. The predicted final height is mutable. It depends on how the, the child is at this moment. How is it his height and his bone age? And the year final height uh, criteria is when the adolescent have a bone age of 16 years or more and the growth velocity is at two centimeters or less in a year. The calculation of the target height is different for girls and boys. We have to correct the, the height of the, the parent of the different sex of the child and then we make this discount. We use the bali pinot coefficient to calculate the predicted final height. So we put the stature measured at the moment that the person did the bone age, and we uh, divide by this coefficient. It depends on how the bone age is related to the chronological age. Remember that bone age is the, an X-ray of the hand and wrists, and it tells how much time is left for growth. The idea is, if you had an advanced bone age for your chronological age, you have less time to grow, so your predicted height will be uh, worse, will be uh, diminished. And on the other hand, if you have a delayed bone age, you have more time to grow, and the predicted height will be better, will be higher. The objectives of this study was to evaluate the effect of anastrozole as monotherapy or associated with growth hormone uh, on the predicted final height and near final height in males adolescents with predicted uh, final height below the target height. We make a clinical and laboratorial follow-up of 75 male adolescents. The inclusion criteria included sex, uh, the bone age at least of 13 years, the predicted height below the target height, and the regular use of anastrozole for at least 12 months. And we see here that from the 75 uh, boys, 57 used anastrozole associated with growth hormone and 18 only anastrozole. There was a difference in the time of treatment. Boys that, used, that were using growth hormone tended to stay more time during the treatment. Uh, table 2 shows that when the boys started the treatment, the predicted final height was below the target height. But with the treatment, in all years, the predicted final height was better than when compared to the, to the initial one. And even in the near final height, in those uh, small set of boys who had this criteria was also better when we compared for the predicted height at the basal point and for the target height. And let's make the count. How many centimeters have they gained? When, so when we compare the, the gain, when we compare the, the height with what they would have uh, if no treatment was done at all, we can see that the anastrozole plus growth hormone group always had a better uh, count. It's uh, normal to see that. But in every, even in the anastrozole only group, we had uh, an augment of centimeters that was appreciated. It was okay. Right? We're very happy with this result. But then we analyzed only the 27 boys who reached the near final height. Five used only anastrozole, 22 anastrozole with growth hormone. And we see results that are similar. They initiate with the predicted height below the target height, but at the end, 
the near final height is much better than the base of predicted height and even a little bit more than the target height. This occurred in the total group and the group with anastrozole and growth hormone. The anastrozole only group, uh, we didn't see any difference in statistical difference. It might be because of the small, the very small number of patients in this subgroup. So what was the real uh, centimeter gain in this subgroup of 27 boys who use, who, uh, who reach the real, uh, the near final height? We can see 1.22 compared to target height and 4.68 compared to the base of predicted height. Even better if you use growth hormone associated. So we conclude that an astrozole therapy was effectively to increase predicted final height and near final height in boys with low height prediction as monotherapy or in combination with growth hormone. As response occurred with the combined use of growth hormone. And we intend to make the follow up of all patients until all of them reach the near final height. Thank you very much for your attention and here you have my contact.